Max Licato, thanks for being here. Oh, absolutely. You're I'm honored. One of my Thank favorite you. people. And I was telling you this before the interview, but even your kid's book, Your Special, is like, I tell oh. everyone about it. Well, thank you very much. Well, this episode specifically, we're talking about the American dream. Okay. And so I'm curious from you, you talk a lot about happiness. That's what your new book's about. But do you think that happiness has changed over the past even just 30 years when you look at American culture? I, th I think the illusion of happiness has. I, 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 think, I think that what we're dealing with now that's one of the characteristics of our unique day and age is this proliferation of advertisement, mm -hmm. this subliminal messaging that comes at us from all angles. And, um, and, you know, 60 years ago, it was the television generation. 30 years ago, it was the internet generation. Today, it's the social media mm -hmm. generation, plus the other two, right? And so, uh, the, the, just the increased number of messages that come our way telling us we will be happy when, uh, has increased. Yeah. And I'm still trying to figure out how do we explain just the despair in, in the culture today. Uh, one out of three Americans say they're happy. That's it. Only one out of three. Mm. Depression is, is drawing close to, uh, heart disease as the number two, as, as the most prevalent illness in the world, in America. And then the increase in suicide is just mm -hmm. the, in the, the pandemic that we don't all want to talk about. And, and so it, trying to get our hands and heads around this is, is a very valid topic. Yeah, so this whole message of happiness, it's been obviously on your heart. You wrote a yeah. book about it. But uh, what have you found? Like when you've dug into just like the marketing side and the comparison side, what are you seeing in our culture today? Well, you, you talk a lot about comparisons in your mm -hmm. book. And well, number one, comparison is, is, because of social media, it's a comparison on steroids. I mean, it's just gone wacko. Yeah. It's just gone wacko. Uh, but comparison always results in either superiority or inferiority, feelings of I'm better or I'm worse. Neither one of those is healthy. Yeah. And, and so um, learning to, to, to manage that comparison trap is, is a huge deal in this day and age. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So when you dig through scripture yeah. specifically, what do you find it says about happiness? Yeah. Like what's yeah. the guide, what's the path? Well, the, the, uh, the, um, the counter uh, intuitive message of scripture is when Jesus said it's, it's really better to give than receive. And so what, what I think he's saying there among other things is um, if you wanna be happy, just give happiness to others. And, and you can be guaranteed you can be guaranteed. I, I, I've doubled all dared people this for about two or three years. You could take a day, make it your day to make other people happy. Just do it. Just see what in the world happens. Put it to the test. <laughs> you know, see what happens. Set loose, you know, go and, 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 and serve people, encourage people, call people up for no other reason except to tell them they're great folks. Uh, maybe forgive some people, you know, just, just kind of honor people. And with, I've, not, I've yet to have anybody say anything except, you know, that was a pretty cool day. So that's wonderful, Rachel, because I can control that. Mm. I, you know, I can't control the weather. I can't control so yeah. much of life, yeah. but I can control how I treat people. And that's why I think that happiness levels can go up if we'll take that angle that Jesus gave us and that's try to make other people happy. Yeah, it's so good. And it is, it's like, we talk about giving a lot of money. You do. Yeah. On the show uh -huh. and getting to the point financially where you're not burdened by debt and mm -hmm. that you're able to live with this open hand and give yeah. because that happiness- It's so fun. Comes out of that giving, yes. So yeah. how do you think happiness and money relate? What do you see in that? Well, I think generosity is huge. Yeah. It really is. It, yeah. it, it really is. You know, to be able to do something that maybe even is a bit spontaneous, but extravagant for somebody mm -hmm. that just knocks them off their feet. It is so much fun. It really is. And then, and then just measured giving, you know, to be able to tithe in your church or in an organization. Um, it's, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. I, I draw a lot of satisfaction out of, um, uh, being able to leave a, a good inheritance for my kids. I'm mm -hmm. pro money. Mm. I'm not pro-materialism, but I'm pro-money. That's right. Yeah. Because it's just a great tool with which to make people happy. Yeah, amen. <laughs> so your new book, How Happiness Happens, uh, really, really excites me. So dig into that a little bit. Like what, 
what caused you to write it, what's, what's the message in it, what can people learn from it? When I saw that statistic, Rachel, that said only one in three Americans are happy, that got me interested in happiness. Mm -hmm. But the materialism factor is really big because of the advertising factor. And, and that's fine. Everybody's got, we got good ideas, we want to pitch them. Right. That's legitimate. But we who hear the ideas need to be able to filter it correctly. So that's up to us. Yes. So good. Oh, Max, thank you. Thank you. So, so much. You guys, thank you. pick up a copy of that book, any book that he's written. There's tons of them, but you are just a master communicator. You well, bring God's word to life. And, and even you spoke to our entire company today, and I had some people just talk about, like, I'm just happier after <laughs> hearing from Max. So I was like, his message definitely hit home. I'm, so I'm happy about really, that. Really uh, a pleasure for you to, thank you, to Rachel. sit here and be here. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you.